Nice old Victorians here on Watsessing Avenue. Oh, where's the station? Let's find it. I see a fair number of people coming out of the well it looks like the station house. So I guess I just missed a train. Probably headed west where I want to go. But gives me plenty of time to look at this station here at Watsessing. There's more of the station. Daddy. In the surrounding area. Let's go down to the platform. So Watsessing Avenue actually goes over the station. Watsessing Avenue customers, the 5.29 p.m. eastbound train to Penn Station, New York, is expected to arrive on track two in approximately three minutes. I think this station was designed by the same guy who did Bloomfield. It looks sort of similar. So it's two tracks, low level, long, with I think just one end where you can get in and get out. We're heading towards Newark. We're in Bloomfield. There's another staircase here on the outbound side. So, they've painted the walls white, and it just always sort of looks dreary here. And then they've covered over some graffiti with a different color paint. And believe it or not, this station actually gets a fair amount of passengers. You can see the platform here is... It's uh, sturdy, but it's got uh, areas underneath it, so it could cave in at some point. And from the train, it's one of the worst looking stations in the system. But the area... It's not, the area around here is not glamorous, but it's not uh, as bad as the station sort of makes this area look. Anyway, this station train is going into, I believe it's going all the way to Penn Station in the city, in New York. What's this? Thing? This is what I mean by the area. Like this is all new construction here. Pretty nice. The Grove at Wasessing. So you can actually come over here and look down at the station from up above. So there's the staircase I just came off. That's what it looks like down below. Not terrifically inviting, but not terrible, terrible. What's this thing?
sort of adds to the decrepit look of the station because this part is closed off but used to go down this far it's a station house at Wassessing Avenue we are on the map we're at Wassessing Avenue so it's the first station on the Montclair Boonton line out of Newark these two lines, Morris and Essex and Montclair Boot, and they share the same right of way and then they split off from each other and then they converge back here at Denville and they both continue out to Hackettstown. So we're on the northern spur of this conjoined uh, two lines in the overall New Jersey transit system. Now that the lights are on, and one thing that uh, comes to mind when I've gone through the station is, um, especially when it's dark out, is um, I like these lights here in the older part of the station where the canopy is. And I think it'd be nice if they just would continue it all the way down rather than switch to these sort of industrial loading dock type lights that. Uh, don't give off the same vibe, especially uh, when you're all alone at a station like I am here. So anyway, that's just one one thing that can be improved here. It'd be nice if they could just do something with the wall here. I'm not saying just paint it with a fresh coat of paint, but could be some other low cost but a more attractive treatment of the wall. It would go a long way to improving the overall look of the station. And maybe just resurfacing the platforms, ceiling where it's cracked below. You don't have to replace the whole platforms, but do something to uh, liven things up here and make it more attractive. Here at West Hessing Avenue. So outside of the station at Kingsland in Lyndhurst, which is on another line but fairly close to here, Watsessing Avenue is the only other station I can think of that has a head house that's over the tracks, like this one. So, there's so many unique aspects to the stations on the New Jersey transit system. And this is one of them. Good news for me. That's the train I want. 